I want to thank all those who are making the system work and pay tribute in particular to three pubs that have taken specific action. The Lighthouse in Burnham-on-Sea, the Fox and Hounds in Batley and the Village Home in Gosport. They have all closed for a deep clean and staff testing after in each case a customer had tested positive. They are doing the right thing by their customers and by their communities. This is NHS Test and Trace working precisely as intended. Three pubs shut so others can be open. And I think the whole House is grateful. Yeah. Mr Speaker, coronavirus has been the worst global pandemic in a generation. Here, we protected the NHS, we built the new Nightingale hospitals in 10 days, at all times treatment was available for all, our medical researchers discovered the only drug known to work, we have built from scratch almost one of the biggest testing capabilities in the world. We're getting coronavirus cornered, but this is no time to lose our resolve. The virus exists only to spread, so we must all stay alert and enjoy summer safely. Jonathan Ashworth. Uh, I'm grateful to the Secretary of State for that uh, answer. He's quite right. We are through the peak, but we must not be uh, remotely complacent. There's thousands and thousands could still die from this virus over the coming months into next year. On the point about Leicester, I obviously welcome that news about Leicester, and I'm grateful for the way in which he and his officials have kept me uh, updated. Could I just ask him, what is the exit strategy for Leicester? How does an area that has gone into a local lockdown escape from a local lockdown? In Germany, I understand, local lockdowns are lifted at around 50 cases per 100,000. Will he be applying similar criteria here in the United Kingdom? I think people in Leicester and potentially other towns and cities that could go into lockdown would welcome that clarity today. Of course, the Pillar 2 data has been uh, an issue of some contention, uh, but much of it has now uh, been delivered. But there are still complaints that the way in which is, the data set has been delivered is incomplete. Mm -hmm. Directors of Public Health need Pillar 2 community data in real time on a daily basis. They need total number of tests undertaken, as well as those that are just positive and they need patient identifiable data so they can put in place the extensive contact tracing needed to keep all of our constituents safe. In Leicester, there's been speculation that, that the textile trade or food manufacturing has been responsible for the outbreak, although we still don't actually know why we had that outbreak in Leicester. But many of these places where there have been outbreaks, whether it's Kirkcalese or elsewhere, have usually been characterised by low pay, insecure work and lack of decent sick pay. So can I ask him to, again to look again at sick pay entitlements because people will not, will not isolate unless they are given that financial uh, 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 security. And uh, 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 finally, uh, uh, he said that um, yesterday, or rather this speaker on Ma on Sunday, he said that asymmetric uh, um, uh, transmission is a problem, totally uh, asymptomatic, I beg, I beg, I beg the Secretary about that, asymptomatic transmission is a problem. Uh, we agree. Could he explain why he's not routinely testing healthcare workers? We've now got a position in this country where Premiership footballers are tested twice a week, but uh, NHS staff are not routinely tested. And finally, on care homes. The initial guidance from the government downplayed the risk to care homes. Care providers were sent conflicting guidance throughout this outbreak. Staff could not access testing until mid-April and are still not tested routinely. PPE supplies have been inadequate. Thousands of families have lost their loved ones in care homes to this disease. Care workers themselves have died on the front line. Can he understand why people are so insulted by the Prime Minister's remarks when he said too many care homes didn't really follow the procedures? Can he appreciate the hurt that has, been, that has led to care home providers today, for example, describing the comments as clumsy and cowardly? And can he tell us, therefore, which care homes didn't follow procedures and what these procedures were that apparently were not followed. And will he take this opportunity now to apologise for the Prime Minister's crass remarks? Yeah. Yeah. Secretary of State. Uh, thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Um, firstly, on Leicester, uh, he asks rightly about the uh, process needed to bring Leicester out of lockdown and bring it back to uh, the level of freedom that's enjoyed in the rest of the country. And what we said uh, when we took the measures just over a week ago is that we needed to see 14 days of data, and so we propose to make announcements on the next steps on the 18th of July. Uh, of course, if further measures are needed in the meantime uh, to tighten up, then we would take them 
uh, immediately. But as I said in my statement, uh, the good news is that the data are currently moving in the right direction. He asked specifically about a figure uh, for the point at which such a local lockdown might be lifted. Uh, we're not going to use or give a specific figure because both the level and the rate of change matters. Um, if the level were lower but it was going up, that could be a worse situation than a higher level that is under control and falling. So you've got to look at both the level and the rate of change. Um, I'm glad that uh, he said that data is being uh, delivered. He mentioned some more detailed data, and I'm very happy to look into those uh, proposals. Uh, he mentioned asymptomatic testing and the asymptomatic testing of NHS staff. Uh, as this House debated 10 days ago now, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, we have worked with clinicians uh, to come forward with a scheme that is supported by those clinicians for the regular testing of NHS staff. Uh, that scheme is now uh, agreed and in place. Uh, and of course, we constantly uh, monitor it uh, and we monitor the number of cases amongst NHS staff. Um, and um, I'm content with that, uh, that scheme uh, that was uh, set out almost two weeks ago. Uh, he also asked about care homes. And throughout this crisis, care homes have done amazing work. And the Prime Minister was explaining that because asymptomatic transmission was not known about, the correct procedures were therefore not known. And we've been constantly learning about this virus from the start and improving procedures all the way through. And I pay, pay tribute to the care homes of this country who've done so much to care for the most vulnerable throughout this crisis. We now come to the Chair Select Committee.